Hi guys, I'm Pratik Kumar and I'm the host of The Fit Crew Show. I'm also the founder of Fit Crew. And before I start introducing the next guest, I would like to request you all to do one thing. Uh, please subscribe to our channel on whatever platform you're going to hear this or whether it's Spotify, YouTube, Instagram, wherever we're present, please do hit the follow subscribe button because you guys subscribing to our channel helps us grow our show, grow our community better and we are able to get better personalities, better people and have more engaging conversations with them. This would help our listeners understand their struggles, their journeys and get a clear insight in their lives too. So if you guys were to join us, there's literally nothing else that I could ask you all to do because when we come together, we'll be able to get better people into our community. So please hit the bell icon or the subscribe button or the follow button, whatever platform you all are consuming this piece of content on, uh, please do join our community. I would like to welcome you all and I would like to move on to our guest now. I uh, design soft furnishings and also decorate uh, people's houses. Mm -hmm. so design homes for Salman, okay. Rabina Tandan, okay. Priya Dutt. Which was the most Who challenging else? experience? Salman's. <laughs> so, like, please try to stick to home food. Even if you are going out, try to eat, eat your, yes, food, at home eat your food at home. So you are not tempted to yeah. eat. When you have food cooked at home, it's under your control. Yes. You know what is going on. Right. You know the amount of oil, the yeah. base. The yeah. minute you go outside, even though your portion size might be lesser, but the way it's spread, it's so different. I love training women. I want them to get out of that comfort zone of theirs. I need women to be more fit. Don't give up on yourself. Soon as you get married and have kids, no, yeah. life doesn't end there. Yeah. But I keep telling them, you know, you go to a store, and I want you to pick up a medium or a small size dress and you will pick it up and you will keep it in your cupboard and that's how you will train yourself to get fit so that you can get into that dress. So let me introduce you to Lavina Hansraj. She has, she's the icon uh, in track and field. She has won multiple awards. She's represented the country everywhere in Kuala Lumpur. She's won uh, in Colombo and Sri Lanka. She's also got the Bharat Icon Award uh, for track and field for women in 2020. So uh, she's represented as a Nasik. I just, I could keep going on and on and the list won't stop. I don't even know where she is and what she's doing right now with this entire journey of track and field and where she's going to represent the country furthermore. But let's understand where she has struggled, where she has uh, faced uh, battles from her personal life, professional life, uh, injuries, multiple places, but yet managed to stay on track, pun intended, and uh, kill it. So let's dive deeper into Lavina's story and understand from her what is it that she does, why does she do it, and what brings her this absolute joy in doing so. Oh, when when did you start your journey? So, uh, I started in 2018. Okay. Yeah, actually my son, mm -hmm. uh, I used to take him for athletic training. Okay. And. Um, then uh, he trained for about a couple of years, I think, three or four years. And then in 2018, uh, he told me, uh, uh, Mom, you know what, I want to join football because all his friends were there uh. and they were worrying him actually, come join us and we in our team and this Peer coaching this. Yeah. yeah. So then I was so shattered, I can't tell you, uh, Pratik, I mean, because. Um, he was, uh, he, he worked very hard. I worked very hard with him, like waking okay. up at five in the morning, taking him to Khandavli for his training and all that. And then um, I said, are you sure, Ethan? I mean, you know, you're doing well. Yeah. He um, sort of uh, got demotivated when he, a uh, couple of uh, this uh, races where he reached the semi-finals and he reached the finals and didn't make it. Okay. So he sort of, you know, got a little this. Yeah. And coach was a little upset, and so he got a little upset, and yeah. then. But um, is he still? Yeah. Is he still there on track, or is he? Is he pursuing football now? He's football, yeah. Okay, full he's time football now. Right. Football, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you can't keep boys away from football. You know, I'm a big Manchester United supporter, and I get it. Like, yeah, I, I wasn't that fast on track. I, mm. I tried it during my school time. I wasn't that fast. He was like, fast. He was yeah. so good. Yeah, Ethan was so good, and. Uh, I was an athlete in school and college uh -huh. and then uh, of course I didn't pursue it because you know parents at that time yeah, yeah it's like no 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 you've got to study and that time there were no facilities actually for a good coach and stuff like that you know we half the time I think I should just self coach myself mm -hmm. for uh, races and stuff like that so mm -hmm. we had our own uh, uh, 
what do you call it that PTT churn school yeah, yeah. where yeah she used to just let, make us run let, let, let. yeah and all this but now you know there's so much a focus on athletics and yeah 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 I mean I I, I really yeah. like the 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 change that's come in the country because of uh, the facilities that we are making a lot uh, yeah yes the, the young I'm leaders really that are coming happy with that yes young it leaders is. are really really promoting it right so, of course yeah. and they've and seen the importance the, they've seen the kind of global expo- exposure True. that we get because of sports yes uh, it's next level and obviously the the money that comes in of because course. sports now yeah is huge yes whether it's uh, satellite rights or whether it's player fees or whatever right. yeah. yeah the sponsorships are massive. Yes. So, but yeah, coming back, how did you start then? So then, um, when he told me that he wants to uh, pursue football, I said, okay, fine. Mm-hmm. And I was really very upset. I had to tell the coach. So I almost had tears in my eyes. He saying, you know, you seem to be more passionate about the sport than your yeah. son. I said, yeah. I and I used to really get excited taking him for all the yeah, yeah. Uh, events and stuff like that. So then um, he said, why don't you uh, you come and train with me? I said now. I said really. He said yeah. I have a fitness uh, training for uh, adults in mm-hmm. the morning, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, they do take part in uh, meets. It's called the uh, Masters of Athletics, where um, uh, Masters of Athletics uh, basically is a federation where uh, all ex athletes or all those who want to pursue uh, in athletics or um, all uh, all different types of sports basically. Mm-hmm. uh after the age of 30 um you can okay. take part in these okay. and uh, there are many federations actually so i am associated with certain uh, masters uh, federations okay. where they um, have different uh, events national state level and then oh, wow. uh, international yeah so then um he told me that uh, you'd have to come to khandavri because uh, of course And this is at five o'clock in the morning. Uh, five forty-five. Five forty-five. He starts training, so that okay. means I have to wake up at four because I stay in Bandra. So wake up and then eat wow. something, and then you know I have to drive down. So our training used to be like What do you twice this? a week. Uh, two thousand eighteen. Okay. Yeah, and um, I trained uh, uh, for a couple of months. Very tough. It was very tough on me because uh, I had to prepare everything the night before. Like uh, keep breakfast and everything ready because I was not there when Ethan goes to school, so yeah. he had to manage himself, which was okay. And I had a support from my husband, so he used to also help me out in certain ways. Yeah. And um, yeah, do my training, then come back, and then I also have a business in soft furnishings. Okay. Yeah, okay. so I also do soft furnishings. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so I I'm a home home decorator actually. Okay. So I. Um, I uh, design soft furnishings and also decorate uh, people's houses. Has oh, in like wow. uh, yeah, like uh, decor. That like you should come with a laundry list. Like this is this <laughs> is what I, I do, and that's insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah that I used to do before I started uh, athletics uh-huh. actually, uh, because I was flying before when I uh, before I got Ethan. I was an air hostess for South Arabian Airlines. Okay. Yeah, right. and I flew for fourteen years. Mm-hmm. Then I got married, and then. I got Ethan. Then he was about a couple of years old, three or four years old, and I wanted to do something which uh, from home. Mm-hmm. And I um, want to do something different, mm-hmm. so I didn't want to get into clothing line. So I said, let me start furnishings because when you go shopping, like I when I did up my house, when I went shopping for. Uh, cushion covers and drapes. I was always like, okay, fine. This will be. This will match. Like you know, something close by. So here, what I do is I get you the exact color, exact oh, okay, design, okay. whatever design you want. I uh, give it to you on All your right. cushions and everything. Yeah. So that that's how I started. So really? design homes for Salman. Okay. Rabina Tandan. Okay. Mm, Priya Dutt. Okay. Um, Which was the most challenging? Else? Experience Salman's. <laughs> oh my God! Because you, you, you're so talking about the, the 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 one BHK that he has, right? Yeah, that yeah. and I also yeah, designed the Panvel one. Okay, the farmhouse, the farmhouse also. Yeah. I've been so there the, a couple of times. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the farmhouse he wanted it basically very relaxed, of course, because yeah, half I've the time. I've seen the different chalets. Yes. Yeah. The corner, yeah. The white, so I, I designed the main uh, living area. Okay. The, the one near the pool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. So I incorporated all the flowers basically that uh-huh. were around the 
farm and I got it into the cushions. Oh wow. Yeah, so I got the lotuses and the shoe flowers and so many, so many things, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and he was very particular. He's like, Lavinia, please, I don't want any of those ticklies and all that. <laughs> I said, okay, okay. <laughs> because I designed his, uh, the BHK, one BHK. In oh, yeah, yeah, and I made it a little glamorous. So I put uh -huh. a lot of sequins and stones yeah, yeah, and stuff I've like that. that. <laughs> yeah, so he said, I can't lie down, you know, and then I want a cushion and then with all those things, you know, I said, okay, fine. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, he has horses in his farm. Yeah. So, I, uh, for his birthday, I think, I uh, designed a cushion mm -hmm. and I made a black horse with the black Swarovski stones on okay. it. So, the horse was the was the Swarovski wow. you know, on the cushion, yeah. He still has it, of course, wow. in his house. And you made that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, lovely. Means I have my yeah, yeah, I know, I, I feel yeah, that, but I mean, yeah, yeah, I designed it. Right? Yeah, I designed it. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. So, so now, how do you manage to find time between? I your... manage. I have to. Yeah, I have to be very organized. I have to manage. Mm -hmm. So basically, I finish more. It's good. Like I finish most of my training in the morning. Mm -hmm, we mm -hmm. start early in the morning, so I tend to finish mm -hmm. by. I think 9.30, I'm done with my training. Okay. Then I'm home and okay. then, yeah, then starts my day. And uh, then if I have any meetings, client meetings, then I go uh, for, for my meetings okay. and stuff like that. Then I've also started coaching. Yeah, so there are a couple of uh, women who wanted for to track? get fit. Yeah, okay. no, for fitness basically. For fitness, okay. And for track, I have, uh, I trained a few kids earlier. Okay. Yeah, but then you know, then when I have to go for my meets, then I have to take yeah, that break. Yeah, I mean, yeah. something's so gonna get I, a little. Yeah, so I. It's gonna take a backseat for sure. Yeah. Yes. So uh, yeah, but I've managed, and uh, I love training. Mm -hmm. I love training women, uh, especially because uh, you know I want them to get out of that comfort zone of theirs, mm -hmm. you know, and get moving, get fit, and stuff like that. I want to now give back to society yeah. what I have already. Uh, done you know so I need women to be more fit don't give up on yourself soon as you get married and have kids and yeah. your life doesn't end there yeah. you know so I keep telling them you know you go to a store and I want you to pick up a medium or a small size dress mm. and you will pick it up and you will keep it in your cupboard mm. and that's how you will train yourself to get fit so that you can get into that dress. The motivation is yeah there. the motivation yeah. Yeah. I, I do that I do that, but I do that with my old clothes because yeah. when it's time to discard and I feel that, okay, this is not going to fit me. So I'm like, you know what, let's keep this as motivation. I'm going to fit in that again. <laughs> Very rarely that happens because I've always come to a point where I get leaner and then I want to like put back on some size. Exactly. I think that's a typical thing with guys when they start getting defined, they start getting smaller and then they're like, you know, we need to bulk up. Yes, yes. So yeah, those clothes are just piling on and I've decided this weekend I'm going to like stack all of them and donate them. I hope that I can do that. Yeah. But yeah, that, that's another challenge. But that's great. I mean, you're able to coach, you're able to uh, train yourself. It Normally, what I've observed is that the minute I get, I start, so I, I am also coaching people for nutrition, right, in my company. So when I get to invest with my clients, my personal training takes a back seat. Like right. My, I know. Uh, my routine takes a back seat. Exactly. Like, I think the last 45 days have been the shittiest 45 days for me in terms of my physical health, where I, I've probably set up a workout that I need to do for an hour, hour and a half and mm -hmm. I barely get like 40 minutes and uh, it's just because there's so much in the mind and now right. I'm, I'm working on training my mind first right? so that I, I'm able to meditate, stay calm or stay focused, get to get what's done in front of me first yes. rather than you know having my head all over the place because we have so much going on, we have this right. podcast, we have the company, exactly. we have uh, all the ads, the business, the clients. Uh, then obviously the family so I mean and that is what happens you know when you when you're so invested in so many things exactly yeah. you have just some residual energy left True. and unfortunately uh, it's your family that bears the brunt of it right uh, that's that's what always happens Sometimes. and it happens in each yes. and every it's just that yes. how supportive how communicative you are with your partner with your right. family and how things work out over there you get the strength to manage yeah everything over here so yeah. it, it really plays a very big role it does it does yeah. your support system so what, what's your support system like so, um, yeah, my husband is a great support system mm -hmm. and my son too, he also understands. And um, I guess my husband is, uh, uh, he motivates me a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like once he saw, he saw what uh, I was doing and like, you know, he um, sort of uh, pushes me yeah. to another level. Yeah, 
like sometimes I said, no, I can't do the, I mean, I, I, I don't think I should do this now. I will do it later. And when he's like, no, 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 you do it now. He uh, pushes me for a lot of, uh, of, of the meets, the international meets, like especially when I know my son has exams during yeah. that time, I sort of back out of those meets. He's like, no, 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 you go for it. It's, you just go for it. It's okay. Yeah. You're, you're not studying for him. He mm -hmm. has to study. Mm -hmm. So you go for it. So yeah, there are many times where, you know, I have, I, I go even though I know like, you know, I have to be there, but I guess, yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I, I'm sure. But I mean, that's so important. It's so yeah. important. And uh, just how old is he? How old is your son? My husband. son is uh, <laughs> 17. <laughs> 17. 17. Oh, yeah. wow. And now he's playing football. Lovely. Yeah. So, uh, can you can you put some light on your entire routine? Like, I know we've kind of put, like, kind of spoken about it that you work, wake up so early. But what's your nutrition structure like? Like, what's your nutrition? What's your training? What's your recovery protocol like? Uh, For somebody who's as busy as you, I mean, people normally think that somebody who is uh, focusing on the physical health yeah. and is competing is literally just doing that and not doing anything else and not living the regular routine life mm. which is so opposite like people who are competing they also have to put food on the table yes. they also have to uh, yes. take care of their own financial health right i mean it's not just that okay you know what you you, you get married you're privileged or whatever no it, i mean you need to do things to yeah. keep yourself sorted yes uh while you are doing yes <laughs> your physical bit so it, it's it's double the effort which people don't understand so right. so that's why i want you to like probably elaborate a little bit on your routine your training routine your nutrition routine uh, so it depends uh, the days i do my athletic training i have a different uh, 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 nutrition that I uh, intake my nutrition intake is different uh -huh. and the days where I'm not training again my nutrition uh, intake is different so when As in, I wake up in the morning carbs or like, yeah okay. I have a lot of carbs yeah because I have to run right yeah, yeah, yeah. so I have a lot of carbs protein of course mm -hmm. now I have uh, uh, up my protein intake actually okay so protein now and um, so in the mornings before my training, I have my oats, bananas, mm. and um, yeah, that's what I have. And then I pack certain snacks. So because I have a long drive to go to Kandavli, so on the way, I'm eating my uh, almonds yeah, yeah. and walnuts and some dry fruits, and then I have a juice or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah and um, then after my training, I have a protein, my protein uh, milkshake. Okay. Mm, then come back home, uh, I have my eggs and my normal breakfast and stuff like that. Yeah, and that's it. I don't snack in between. I think that's so for important. me, it's like all meal to meal, you know. Yeah. And I don't even keep any snacks at home and I feel so bad because when I get visitors, I don't know what to offer them, you know, yeah, because I don't have anything. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I don't keep so much protein snacks. shakes for them. Like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> protein bars. Oh, boy, like protein bars. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that's that. And I, my food is very simple. I mean, like the normal home, home food. food. Yeah, yeah, I it's stress a lot on home food. It's so important. Yeah, like right? I even, I talk to women also, they ask me, I said, please try to stick to home food. I know even if you are going out, Try to eat, eat your food, yes, at home eat your food at home, so you're not tempted to yeah, eat, you yeah. know, all these nibble, uh, the starters and yeah, stuff because like Because there are so that. many variables, right? When, when, when you have food cooked at home, it's under your control, yes. you know what is going right. in, you True. know the amount of oil, the yeah. base, the, the pantry staples that you're using, exactly. it's also controlled. The yeah. minute you go outside, even though your portion size might be lesser, but the way it's prepped, True. The, uh, the things that they put in it, Yes. It's so different, yeah. yeah. So I, I I strongly encourage all my clients to either go for home cooked food or yes. or prep in advance. Right. Keep it in the fridge, yes. and then you know you can keep having it. Even if you, it's prepped and kept ready, you are more it's invested easier. in having it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Rather than you know just skipping it yes. and letting it go. So yeah. Yeah, it's so important. Yes. So uh, but and and your training is only in the morning. Then you also mentioned you go to the gym to train. Yes. So now so then I do strength the training. Yes, yeah. so I go. To, I hit the gym in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. So around about say um, two o'clock or three o'clock. Three o'clock normally I hit the gym. Three okay. to four thirty I'm at the gym. Mm -hmm. Strength training is very important. 
and how, uh, how important do you think is strength training? Because I know how important it is, but why, why do you think it's important? It's what very, I, very important, okay. really, because uh, when you're, uh, we need to strengthen our legs, mm -hmm. strengthen our entire body actually, from head to toe, when you're running. Yeah. You know, yeah. So, so everything has so, to be. So I was just reading the other day that uh, runners focus a lot more, like how much they focus on their quads and their hands, uh, or if the flexibility and the strength of the cords and the hands, they are also focusing the flexibility and strength of their upper back, their shoulders and their arms. It does, yes. Because uh, apparently 50% of the running is under your arms. Yes, it okay. is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so that's why you think the strength training is Yes, good. very important. Yeah. Weights are important, especially okay. even for women, any age. Yeah, you have to, you have to carry weights. It's very important. So, so your, your routine combines a mix of uh, your Athletic performance in the morning and strength training. Yes, in the and now of course I've started kickboxing, which I love. Okay. I really love. Yeah, it's uh, uh, given me a lot of confidence. Uh -huh. Yeah, and a lot of stability and uh, focus a lot. Okay. Yeah, okay. I I I'm really liking that. And uh, in kickboxing, uh, he in, incorporates everything. So we're doing functional, we're doing weights mm -hmm. and kickboxing along with it. You know, so wow. it's like an overall body workout actually. You know, sometimes I feel after kickboxing, I normally go to the gym and I want to finish it off. Like if I don't have any work, I'm so exhausted sometimes, you know, because we already did so much. Yeah. Uh, so I, sometimes I do go to the gym straight after because then I got to go home and then come back in the afternoon. Uh, How many yeah. hours in a day do you have? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so oh my God. So then if I don't have any work, yeah. then I yeah, I take a break about for half an hour, 20 minutes and car gym and then I uh, do strength training there. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So, uh, in, you say you started in 2018, let's say. You won so many goals. Yeah, so 2018 when I started training, in I started in the month of May, I still remember. And in uh, November was... Uh, a, the first athletic meet for masters and uh, sir said uh, you put in your name i said no sir i don't think i'm ready yet he said you, you look, are you look ready. exactly like a school girl like we'll, we'll put into this dance yeah. competition or this, this uh, prep and you're like no i, I, I was can't. so scared yeah, because i felt i just had a couple of months of training yeah. and i don't know if i was prepared mm -hmm. so he said no 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 you are and then you know sometimes you have to listen to your coach because maybe he already knows how the yeah, uh, it's... how it's structured and he knows maybe all the people who are taking part so he said yeah 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 you You'll, you'll do well. So I said, okay, fine. So I, I put in my name. So nervous. I was so nervous. He said, I need you to put in your name for two, three events. I said, no, sir. Please, can I just handle one event right yeah. now? And I'll see how I'm doing. So he said, okay, fine. Put in for one event if mm -hmm. you're comfortable. And it was here in Mumbai at uh, in Marine Lines. Okay. And um, I put in my name and I went for it. And... Yeah, and uh, <laughs> it was good, and I won the gold. Wow! Yeah, and then uh, did I did come back know. and tell you that I told you to sign up for two more events. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure you did. Yeah, so that's what coaches do. That coaches can see the potential way I before guess that so. that you can even see that they, they. That's that's why we have coaches, right? Because when we start any journey, we feel that okay, this is something that we have to do ourselves. So why do we exactly. even need a coach or somebody outside to tell us? True. But a coach is going to see your environment. He's going to create the right routine pattern and encourage you to take the right steps in the True. right direction. Yes. And that's so important. Otherwise, you're going to be wasting so much time, which is which is the most valuable resource. Yes. Yes. Like, I mean, you you decided to do it, and within like. You said May, right? And November, you won your first yes. gold. Yeah, yeah. That's massive, and that's only. The, I I would give like I know it's the credit has to be shared between you and him. Yeah. But a majority of that credit has to go to him because that's yeah. how he that's how he saw your potential and he, he motivated so. you to join that. Yeah. Yes. So then after that, what next? Then uh, those who uh, came in the first four, who came out in the first four, mm -hmm. um, were qualified for the nationals in. Uh, Jan, I think. Jan it was or February. So and that was my first national. And that I was, was so nervous. Jan. No, but, but which, which, where, where was that? In yeah. Nasik. In Nasik. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, I was so nervous. I was like, oh my God, sir, I don't know. I mean, so he said, yeah, 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 you'll do it. Don't worry uh -huh. and all that. So I said, okay, fine. 
so then he said okay now nationals you have to take part in four events okay so you got to put your name for all four mm. i said sir uh, long jump i mean i have done in school and college i have not done long jump for a long time he said okay we'll do a couple of uh, practices for long jump yeah. i'll train you for long jump as well so i said okay and i like to do long jump i don't know why i yeah. i like like doing it so uh, i trained for long jump not too much but i trained enough like okay yeah i was like okay i'll just give it give it a shot yeah, you know yeah. since i have to take part in four events so basically my events are 100 200 400 are my events a okay. long jump yeah i i like it so i i i put in put put my name for it and uh, yeah i went to nasik and uh, oh my god and to see so many you know different uh, uh, <coughs> women from all parts of india come in, come come in and uh it was really uh, uh, amazing i would say you know so and i have a habit i don't know why it's i think it's nervousness i don't talk to anyone when i go for my meets yeah okay. after my race yes i will talk to you but i i yeah i there. guess i'm so focused i need to concentrate i need to uh, do certain things you know on my own yeah. i do a lot of stretching because then when you know there are a lot of distractions then they come to talk and then they yeah. ask you where you are training and the, so it this because uh, we have to report one hour before our event for mm. the for any event like if i'm running 100 meters you have to report like one and a half hours before so you just have that half an hour to 45 minutes to do your warm up and stretching and everything before your event mm. so i yeah i like to focus on myself and everything so i don't normally talk to anyone yeah after the meet yes i i i talk to everyone but during that time i just keep myself away from most of the people and i do my own thing and all that um yeah and i the my first one was yeah 100 meters yeah i bagged the gold there then came 200 again i bagged the gold there okay. then 400 again i got the gold <laughs> and then i knew then you know i guess after my 200 i knew where my placing was so i yeah. said okay fine and uh, yeah then 400 or so i got the gold then came my long jump and i was like so nervous because i didn't know like you know i said now this is this is the nationals and you know no, it's a rare and you already got three goals yeah, in the bag so i know <laughs> so it was a lot of pressure also and of course I had a lot of help because we had a couple of athletes from sri lanka uh-huh. so um, they were very good in long jump so they also actually helped me you know during okay. the uh, yeah during the yeah event. just a uh, little before like an hour or uh, hour and a half before the long jump they said uh, we'll help you to we we'll tell you uh, your run ups and everything you know and okay. uh, yeah so they sort of helped me in my long jumping and uh, and yeah i got the gold in long jump as well yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah so then the nationals yeah i won five golds mm-hmm. there and um, then came the state level mm-hmm. uh, state level i knew because it was only the state level so i you, you already know where your placing is yeah. yeah so i knew also who all are going to be there for yeah. the event and also i knew yeah so there so i bagged all the goals <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah no, it's i was saying no, yeah, it's a choice of habit yeah Lovely. so so like you know when someone says don't you get don't you quit don't, don't you feel like quitting don't yeah. you get demotivated sometimes i said no i don't because uh I will never get demotivated because I have a case with all my medals in it and I just go and I stare at it and I have my nationals my state level my international all my international and you know you bring you the uh, yeah the memories back. come back like oh shit when I won these five medals I remember and this and that and, yeah. you know I uh, that was my first feature in the newspaper and uh, Lavinia wins gold and uh, all goals I forgot also what the this said Then um, came my first international. That was in 2019. Mm-hmm. I uh, they asked me to go to Sri Lanka for my first international. So again, I was so nervous. Oh my God! Now international means like, of course, I'm going to be running with so many uh, yeah. women from all over. 
So I um, said, okay, fine. Then again, I put in my name for all, I put in my name for, no, only hundreds, two hundreds. And uh, international, I only could take part in three. So hundreds, two okay. hundreds and long jump. Yeah. You didn't so, go for the 400 this time? Uh, no, we only could take part in three. Exactly, so you didn't yeah, go for so 400, I didn't you went go, for the long I jump. I went for the long jump, yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah, so there, 100 meters, yeah, I bagged the, the gold. 200 meters, I was, I, I don't know what happened to me towards the end, mm -hmm. I don't know. And yeah, this Sri Lankan overtook me at the end and uh, I got the silver. And uh, I cried. I cried and cried so much, I can't tell you. And my coach was there. He came with me. He's like, it's okay, it's okay. But you know, I guess yeah. you're, you're you, not you used to it. Yeah, yeah. Started yeah. with this entire street. Exactly. So you were like obviously waiting yeah. for that. And how was the long jump then? The long jump, yeah. Then you know, you are so this, then, then your body is on fire. You just want to hit it and you're like, yeah. how could I? And this and that, yeah. And then the long jump, yeah. I, won the gold. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Lovely. But so, uh, like we were just talking before and you said that throughout the course of your training, uh, luckily or probably it's because of your your perseverance and your, your coach and your entire routine that you haven't ever faced an injury. No. Yeah. No. Can, can you explain why do you think so like you haven't faced any injury? Because Injury is is so is, is almost as good as inevitable in the in the path of an athlete's I life. Understand. I mean, yes. uh, it's so easily when so, you're pushing yourself right. physically exactly to your limits. Yes, uh, there are small tendons and I small guess. tissues that yeah, yeah. that bear the brunt, and right. and they might not come out today, but they they eventually start paining and aching later on. But yeah. the fact that you've been able to preserve yourself so well mm. uh, and take care of your body, yeah. like what do you think? I'm it's not saying no. I when I run, yes, the, I used to get some aches and pains, but you know, I guess um, my mind was so strong. Mm -hmm. I didn't focus that much on yeah. that pain. I I think I kept telling myself like, you know, it's okay, it's gonna be fine, and it was not major. Like I think just some sprains or whatever, but I didn't focus that much. Like okay, I should just put the spray and say okay, fine, I'm fine, and I have to go back to my training. I, I, I didn't like give it so much importance or anything like that. I had yeah some ankle thing or whatever, but it didn't stop me. Yeah. I, I didn't stop myself from training. You know, I guess it's all in the mind. No, absolutely. So, I mean, and the body is made to uh, heal itself, right? Yes, and rest. Yeah, I, I rest as well. So in the afternoons, I take a good one hour to one and a half hours sleep. Okay. I sleep. Yeah, obviously, sleep. because you're waking up so early. Yes, yeah, I sleep. So when you sleep, your body recovers, right? Yeah. Yeah. Then I take a lot of uh, body massages. Okay. Um, then um, steams, and I, like I told you, we do a lot of stretching and we do a total body warm up before we start our training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's very important, I think. Yeah, I think a cool down, a warm up, the stretching. Right. Like people usually feel the only function of a muscle is to provide strength yes but it's also like elasticity uh, between movements it so yes. it's so important to stretch so important to warm it up cool yes. it down and yeah. if you're doing that then you're able to preserve a lot of uh, yeah. your body which which i came to know very late in life i think but when i was 28 29 is when I actually already like four or five injuries down shoulders gone out back torn back oh, really? yeah a lot of a lot of damage yeah even i played football yeah. for my school so uh, mm -hmm. in that i i had quite Bit of injuries for my mm. engineering college also i played football so okay. support a lot of injuries over there because then it was just about going 100 yeah. percent uh, yes, yeah. yes yeah so yeah i mean that, that's what i wanted to know like how yeah. how, how do you uh, steer past such obstacles yeah. and i'm sure like now with this entire routine that you have built from 2018 uh what's what's next now in your target sphere what's next um I am focusing more on international events now and uh, um, yeah and also looking forward to actually uh, training more women, uh, training more kids. Okay. Yeah. I want to, um, I want to set up like, you know, <clears throat> fitness workshops everywhere, like a two day or three day fitness uh, okay. workshops for kids and for women and also men, I mean adults basically 
and uh, uh, the awareness of fitness actually yeah, yeah. you know yeah what is uh, how important fitness is and how it can change you basically True. in your you know day to day life and the way you think and stuff like that it has changed me a lot you know so i i Ch- change is physically or mentally physically mentally everything yeah yeah it's mentally really healing, more right? also yeah, yeah i think i'm more uh, focused more calmer i think you know much bigger than you know being petty and yeah. stuff like that yeah you you think of, just get a wider you think, lens yeah, towards yeah get a, yeah exactly yeah so so yeah, when I, is the next event that probably you can see you uh so my next event is in october okay it's in dubai oh wow yeah so now oh. focusing on that so your so your entire routine is now training really yeah training. so now basically during the monsoons um, not so much of track and field we do we do maybe once or twice a week but now it's more about strength training and uh, uh, more strength training i would say okay. yeah strengthening your body so i think uh, full fledged uh, track and field will start like uh-huh. around about yeah september i would say okay yeah end of august september yeah so so till then you you are going to be investing your time in getting kids up and ready also because yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. lovely and uh, like how how do you how are you going to balance this like you know train yourself train the kids yeah <laughs> it's going to be challenging for sure and then obviously your own health right uh, i'm sure that you might have tried this initially and you might have faced certain issues like maybe you know your your family has taken a back seat or maybe uh your your work your profession has taken a back seat mm. and that also kind of brings some kind of guilt internal guilt like uh, for example when i'm 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 shooting this podcast let's yes. say uh, i know that okay some of my clients might have messaged me and they might be checking up on me and mm. checking up on okay what do we eat and that kind of starts becoming this dominant thought and that eats up uh, right. with you inside okay. so how uh, does it happen to you first of all yes it does yeah. it so, does yeah 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 so when yeah, that happens yeah. how do you how do you navigate through that kind of self talk i guess you know you have a choice and uh, you got to choose you know hard choices the, yeah little hard choices yeah even i had to choose but um, yeah you, at the end you make the right choice and um, yeah it works for you it's okay yeah, <laughs> you know it's life that i think doesn't end there yeah life, life keeps getting okay. about difficult decisions yeah it's about challenges and how you take it and how you focus on your work and yourself and yeah. stuff like that yeah just let it go it's okay every day is a new day and uh, uh, there's a new beginning for a lot of things so it's okay is there any incident while you you started from 2018 till now uh any incident where you thought that okay you know what you can't do this you can't compete in track and field you thought that you will give up uh because it was getting so challenging no never, never. no <laughs> i never no i always wanted to run so that that's i think yeah. you found your calling then yeah i i did yeah and i guess once you know you know especially when you start winning i guess <laughs> you know? yeah that's uh, that's that's what motivates you more and yeah. uh, you get greedy and then you work harder and you think like okay fine i i need to get the gold again you know and then again and again so i guess you know i yeah. keep motivating my own self like mm-hmm. like i told you i never uh, i I I don't want to think of the word quit because I just look at all my medals and I was like no I cannot yeah, quit yeah. I will not quit yeah as long as god has blessed me with uh, uh strength stamina uh healthy body yeah I will just go on yeah, yeah. to that that's fair yeah <laughs> so the next section is uh, it's it's more like an impromptu thing what we do is these are cards okay but okay, these cards are like random questions like how do you define success in your life mm. or uh, how did you overcome any health challenges setbacks that you experienced mm. what's your favorite song nowadays what legacy do you want to leave behind so it's just random questions for us to understand you better uh this this round is also called as struggle in strength right struggle in yeah strength. because uh, i strongly believe that there is there is no way to get stronger till the time you struggle right. you have to get out of your comfort zone yeah, you have true. to you have true. to you know bat your hands and legs yeah, yeah. in deep waters just to come out of it stronger true. and uh, these questions are based around that so even if it's something like what's what what song are you listening to nowadays uh, what's your favorite song nowadays it would have like if it's your favorite song if it's something that you're that's continuously playing on your playlist it does have some kind of uh, 
an inspiration towards some positive self talk in your head right that's why you're listening to it and yeah. uh, why you listen to it so right. i mean every question is kind of deeper but it's right. it, it's very individual although it's very general mm. but it would uh, definitely be very individual which ever question you want to go for okay. just just give me the question and we can go for it okay. there a lot of them <laughs> okay so uh, what led you to pursue your career path your current career path so i know you're wearing a lot of hats uh whether it's interiors whether it's uh, uh your track and field when you're training people also you're coaching people also but uh, i would say what led you to coaching others like why did you decide to coach kids um i guess when i uh, went for my meets i used to see uh, some kids where i knew they were good mm-hmm. they were good but i guess they didn't have that proper coaching yeah that they need and um uh, so that's what led me to uh, coaching i guess uh, for kids and um, did did ethan not participating in his track and field kind of also made you uh, tilt towards the side that you know what if ethan didn't like it probably i'll do i'll see if i can get others who also get inspired and start taking this as a, uh, a sport yes did that, that <laughs> yes, also decided yes, that yes, I, I get it yeah. i mean my my son <laughs> he's deeply into football and i i play football and he he loves his football practice but yeah i dread the day i mean i'm kind of just wishing it doesn't happen the day that either he comes up to me and tells me that that i'm not a manchester united fan uh. or if he tells me that i don't want to play football altogether and right. oh my god will break me will shatter me but that's his choice and that's his life so exactly yeah, yeah. but i get it you want to go for another card sure so uh what's your primary faith belief like i uh, do you think of yourself as a religious person do you think of yourself as a spiritual person and uh, like what if i was to say okay lavinia is uh, let's say believing in something whether it's god or universe what would it be yeah it's god it's god i am religious yes okay you're religious yeah. okay and uh, how much of faith do you put in uh, your religion whatever it is um I normally visit church. I try to visit church almost every day because oh, I wow. take my god, uh, take my uh, dog for a first walk, uh-huh. and I always pass by the church, my okay. church. So yeah, I do go for a visit. And Sunday morning is yeah mass. mass. Yeah, have to yeah have to go for the mass. And uh, yeah, God has helped me a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, a lot in uh, all my uh, events and in whatever I. did like you know i always uh, i think i pray before i do anything and yeah and and, and that faith that belief does i guess so yeah does help you yeah, in so many ways because it just yes. takes off the entire responsibility of your shoulders right. yes that all you got to do is just do it and yeah. everything else will be taken care exactly. of right yes it's it's just so overpowering now i get True. it i mean so for some people it's is the universe for some people it's right. it's yes. energy for some people it's god yeah. everybody right. might have different names for the yes. same source yes uh, yes absolutely yeah, yes definitely i mean there is there is something that re- is that can take away all our belief right. and all our faith yeah and uh, help us just do the things that we need to do exactly absolutely i i completely yes. agree with you <laughs> you want to go ahead with yeah your Okay, uh, we kind of covered this, but what are the creative outlets that you enjoy? Like, uh, apart from your track and field, and apart from the saw, uh, sawdust uh, artifacts, artifacts, yeah. right? I mean, it's let's call it that. Yeah. What What is the creative outlet? Like, like, for example, you made the the cushion with the horse yeah. sawdust. Yeah. Like, what do I you? I like doing that. Yeah. So, is yes. it more like sketching or? Yeah. So, I normally sketch the designs and. Um, i have a lot of ideas you know so whenever i'm free i sit and i sketch when I are you free how are you free yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how are you free no sometimes when i'm just relaxed and yeah. like doing nothing yeah, yeah there's a notepad and pen always next to my bed so uh-huh. i'm always sketching uh different ideas keep coming into my head so i just write it down or yeah. i draw whatever um uh, a lot of people is uh, are forcing me to get into uh, dress designing uh fashion basically so yeah has like a hobby i'm just now just designing a few gowns and uh, oh, wow. yeah resort wear and stuff like that just few like you know so, just ideas so i i would say not come out with my line has yet but uh, yeah whatever i 
comes and maybe yeah one day yes I I, I may just come out with the line of yeah. course like why why yeah. never say never why why yeah. ever <laughs> set a cap to anything exactly I mean, it's it's just that you you have to find the right way or the right exactly. conduit to channelize right. your yeah. creative that's what output. I am looking for you know yeah I'm yeah. designing I have ideas and all but I just need the, the right, right channel yeah channel to get into it to show your creativity to exactly, the world exactly yeah. yeah absolutely I get it yeah. So, uh, but we can expect an athle- athletic, athleisure designer <laughs> wear from Lavinia. I know. I mean, in the coming I future, let's so. see. Yeah. Lovely, lovely. But thank you so much. Thank, thank you so you much too. for giving us this much time for thank yours. Thank you so much for having me, and it was really nice. Yes. Really great. So we are yeah. waiting to see you in Dubai now, uh, yeah. in November. <laughs> and, October. Uh, October. Sorry. October. Yeah. And uh, hopefully, you get five golds this time. I hope so. How, how many events are you like? <laughs> Uh, so no, uh, in Dubai I think it's four again. Okay, the same I, four, I guess 100, so, yeah. 200, 400 and long. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I think I'll be cheering for you for yeah, sure. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you so much, Pratik. Perfect. Thank you so much, Lavinia. Yeah, thank you.